Hello, everyone, and welcome back. So months following the investigation of Ravi Zacharias, his family members came out in defense of his reputation, denouncing the allegations. His wife said that she rummaged through all his papers and found nothing to validate the accusations. Then his son also engaged in some back and forth with a blogger whose agenda was to bring light to all the skeletons in the RZIM closet. In a twist, his daughter had this to say about the situation. Listen closely. These allegations came to us three years after the allegations were brought by the Thompsons in 2017. And I'm grieved that in 2017 and initially in 2020, I made serious errors that only further deep wounds. My goal and my heart were not to attempt to cover up the sins of my father or any sin to further a call or a mission. I earnestly wanted the truth, but I recognize that the steps I took didn't always show this. I should have immediately called for an independent investigation in 2017, but I trusted my father fully and I carried his narrative both in 2017 and then initially in 2020 when we were first made aware of those allegations. In both of these, I know that I caused pain. I did not serve well, and I did not love well. And for this, I'm deeply sorry. When we engaged an independent investigator in September, it was because we wanted the truth. And we wanted the truth because it was the most loving thing to do for my father and for my family, and to reveal the truth that we learned. But honestly, even during the investigation, while I earnestly prayed for truth, I believe that I already knew it. I believe this man, my father, whom I loved and trusted more than anyone else, could not have done these things. I believed what I had witnessed, a lifetime of integrity beyond reproach, and I believe that I had years of experiences to back this up. But I was wrong. She also had this to say. And it's been said that it's easier to be fooled than to convince someone that they've been fooled. And now I know that more than ever to be true. When I was first presented with the evidence that the allegations were true, it quaked my very being. In fact, I still replay memories over and over in my head. How could this make sense with the man that I knew and what we now know to be true? Was it all a lie? Could he have done these things? And if he did do them, why wouldn't he have confessed them even to his family? For the rest of my life, I will have to hold in tension this man that I knew and love with the man that we know now committed these actions. There's more to her speech that I will link in the description box. Also, Ravi Zacharias is just like any other man. He was fallible and succumbed to the demands of the flesh. And while he offered us teachings from the Bible, which he clearly didn't take heed of, we can use this as a lesson to never ever focus on the man, or worship the man in this case, because they too can be idols. This is a quote that he once said, let's hope for his soul's sake he practiced this part of his preaching. Remember to like the video as it helps to support our channel, plus it's free, and if you haven't already, remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Also, stay tuned for more and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.